Alrighty, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I'm really excited about what we're going to be talking about. Before we do get into the video, I do want to say I actually recently started a podcast and I've been uploading the videos to my second YouTube channel. So I'll make sure that I link it down in the description. Um, it's really just kind of me talking about things that are on my mind, things that I've been going through. Um, I kind of shared my life story in the first podcast. There's two up already. It's also on Spotify. Eventually it's going to be on Apple and stuff, but it's just kind of a, there's a lot to get through before I can actually put it up there. So I've been working on that, but it is on Spotify. That'll be linked. And then it's also on YouTube. Uh, so please feel free to check it out. I would really appreciate it. If you do watch it, if you could leave a comment, um, you know, let me know what you think. Eventually I'm going to be doing interviews over there as well. And so I'm really excited about that. So if you're at all into podcasts, Podcasts, please go check it out. Today we are going to be talking about Caitlyn Shepard or Caitlyn Elizabeth is her name on TikTok. She actually uh, released a TikTok that went pretty viral back in October where she was talking about her, her experience as a fat woman. And I've had a, quite a few people send me this video and there's actually been a few updates that we're gonna go over as well. Um, so without further ado, let's just get into this video. So this is the TikTok right here and it goes on to say, nothing makes me more angry. And so let's just go ahead and see what she has to say. You know, I hate to be the person that just keeps barking up the same tree, but it's really bothering me recently. Specifically since I started losing weight, it is bothering me so bad, okay? My first impressions are always ruined. Doesn't matter. If you are fat, if you're a fat person, if you're overweight, if you're plus size, whatever you want to call it, you guys always get mad at me for calling it fat, but whatever. <laughs> you, your life is just set up for you. It really is because you no longer get a first impression, I know exactly like where she's coming from with this because for me, I, I used to feel the same exact way when I was heavier. I was like genuinely like I, whenever I would walk into a room, right? If I walked into a room and I heard people laughing, even if like, maybe even if they were laughing before I even walked in, I would just automatically assume they're laughing about me, right? They're laughing at me because especially like the size that I was, it was like, again, like she's talking about, it's the first thing people notice. Like it is literally impossible not to notice that. Like I remember when I worked at Vans, they would always like, they had this weird, you didn't even get commission, but they like to track your sales. It was so, so annoying, but um, they would track your sales. And so whenever you'd help someone with shoes, the person at the front would ask, oh, who got your shoes for you, right? People wouldn't remember my name. And they, a lot of times people were trying to be nice. So they wouldn't say, oh, the, you know, the really big guy, but my manager would, you know, he'd be like, oh, was it like the, the big guy? You know, and they'd be like, yeah, yeah, you know, because he, he even told me that that's what he used to say and like I, it didn't really hurt my feelings because again it's like it makes sense like of course that's going to be the the way that someone is going to uh describe me if they're just trying to quickly describe who i was right if, if they didn't know me at all and so i i completely completely understand and know exactly how that feels to feel like your size is the first thing that people notice and to feel you know a certain type of way about that right you don't because if you're fat, your first impression is that you're fat. Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't get to be funny. You don't get to be quirky. You don't get to be cute. You don't get to be anything. You don't get to be hot. You don't even get to be ugly. <laughs> you're fat. Mm -hmm. That's just all you are. Yeah. I remember when I was, a, when I was a kid, uh, you know, like when you'd have people like make fun of you, I remember a, f a friend of mine, they like, they were trying to help me come, come back with comebacks to these people that were making fun of me. And so like one of the comebacks was like, okay, well if I'm fat, you're ugly so I can lose weight. What can you do? <laughs> I remember that was one of the comebacks that we came up with. All right, we probably didn't come up with it, but that we used. <laughs> and anything else that comes after that is just an add-on, a bonus, because nobody cares. At the end of the day, nobody cares. Because if you're fat, nobody cares what you have to say. They can sit here all day, all day, all night, all afternoon, and they can say that they care about you, blah, 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 but they don't. They don't. Because a so I think that I'm, I'm not exactly sure what was going through her mind and I'm not trying to mansplain or anything like that, but I, I know what it's like to be in this moment and have these really, really negative thoughts and feel like you know, like have these really negative thoughts feel like they kind of take over and you just kind of let them kind of run because I don't, I don't necessarily know if that's completely true, but I know what it feels like to feel like it's completely true. And so, you know, I don't, I don't blame her for feeling that way. And I certainly don't blame her for, for sharing it because I think it's important to share these moments that might feel like a little over the top or like, Oh, come on. Like no one really thinks that because when you are feeling that way, it feels very real in the moment. And I think it's good to share that and have other people see that as well. 
first impression is everything. As much as a lot of people say, oh, like when I first met you, I thought you sucked and now I love you. Like, and that's great, you know, but when that's always the case, it sucks. It literally sucks ass because you don't get to be anything other than fat until you prove yourself otherwise. So being fat, you're constantly proving yourself. You're constantly proving that just because you're fat, you're not dumb. You're not rude. You're not stupid. And like automatically, you don't get to be anything else. Yeah, I know exactly how that feels. Like I, it's something that I still, I think, have like trauma. I don't know if that's what it really is, but that I have like these feelings of like, I, I am always making sure that I don't smell. <laughs> like I take a lot of showers in a day. I always want to make sure I don't smell because I had this genuine like I was terrified of being the smelly fat guy. So I, I, I would make sure that I showered frequently. Like I, I was so, so scared of being that. And so it's like, I know exactly what that feels. And like, that's why I became the funny fat guy. That's why, like I have a, a, a tattoo of a cupcake on my, on my, uh, on my calf, right? And it says rest in peace under it because in high school, everyone called me Cupcake. The reason they called me that was, I mean, people were trying to give me a, the nickname to make me feel bad, but I, I just kind of ran with it and I turned into this persona. I, I became the funny fat guy. Like I became this this persona of Cupcake. Like I tried to make everyone laugh because I felt like that would be a way to make them like me because I knew that, again, that first impression was always going to be something that wasn't great, right? So I would rather like try and take it into my own hands as much as I could. And that was the way that I did it. Right. And it literally sucks and nobody talks about it and it pisses me off. Like my whole life, every, like literally my whole life, I don't get, I don't get to choose, you know, I don't get to be the nice girl, like the nice, funny girl. I don't get to be pretty first. I'll always be fat first. Yeah, I, I really completely understand. Like, it's it's that first impression, and that's how it was for me. That's how it felt like, at least. Like, fat was the first thing that people noticed. This next video we're going to talk about was actually uploaded in October as well, and it's a, a weight loss update. So she kind of goes into detail about uh, her weight loss. It's a little bit longer of a video, but again, I think a lot of the stuff that's that's shared is pertinent, and I, I think that she does a good job kind of explaining everything. So let's get into it. Bestie, where have you been? Where have you been? I've missed you. Let's go ahead and get into a weight loss update and how we've been feeling about the weight loss update. So I have been on this weight loss journey hard for about four months now. Hot girl walks, meal prep, diet, everything. So I'm going to show you a before picture of what I looked like. Before I show you this photo and before I tell you how much weight I've lost total thus far, I do want to go ahead and give a disclaimer because I know people are going to be like, wah, wah, and I just don't want to hear it. Okay. Um, I am obese. It's not me putting myself down. It's not me talking about myself. I am literally morbidly obese. It's crazy that these, these disclaimers even have to happen, dude. Like for someone to be so excited about something and be afraid of how that is going to affect someone else, like, especially when it's something like this, like, it's not like they're sharing some terrible thing. Like she's sharing something that she's super excited about that she feels is going to ex like improve the quality of her life, extend her life. Like, Dude, uh, it's just crazy, bro. We live in crazy town. Okay. Um, and you are not going to be like, oh my God, Caitlin, you're so skinny. Like you're so, you're so skinny, which I am. Like I'm literally light as a feather. True. But <laughs> light as a feather, stiff as a board, babe. Um, <laughs> I just want you to know that before I show you these photos. So basically look at my stomach. Really. I like that shirt a lot look at my stomach and really look at my arms now look at this photo of me from the jonas brothers concert look at my stomach look at my stomach and look at my arms look at my arms ah! i'm gonna show you a side by side okay now i'm gonna show you the side by side granted this one's a little bit closer than this one but i think that you can still see so obviously yeah i feel like you can see it in the face the most but i definitely see it in the arms as well um yeah the stomach is definitely smaller as well um yeah i mean that's yeah awesome awesome look at my stomach and look at my arms ah, i'm so excited guys you don't even understand those photos are a year apart but like i said i just started my weight loss journey four months ago so i just started in july um with that being said i have lost a significant amount of weight in my back i wish i had photos to show you 
Yeah, my back was the first, like, when I started lifting was the first place that I actually saw muscles. I remember, like, someone took a picture. I don't remember. But it was like, what the heck? There's there's muscles there. It was, like, the coolest feeling ever. But obviously, I'm not taking selfies from my back. I'm not having pictures. <laughs> uh, people take pictures of me from the back. So I don't have anything to show you. But I just want you to know, most of my weight loss has come from the right side of my stomach. My stomach in general. My mm. arms and my back thus far. So I started off, so disclaimer, I am very transparent with my numbers. I am very transparent in general. Numbers are just numbers to me. You always ask me what my goal is. I tell you all the time, my goal weight is not a number. It is freedom. I just Love that. Love that. I just want to be able to do what I want to do, have fun, be healthy. And I, you know what I'm saying? Like that is my goal. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, in July, I started off at 498 pounds. I know, I know. Oh my God, that's so crazy. <laughs> yeah, shut up, I know, okay. <laughs> um, and <laughs> as of yesterday, Monday, I weigh 456 pounds. I know, I know, I know. I literally, I know. So it's very exciting, very liberating i guess um i just remember like i'm i'm like beaming over here because i just remember that feeling like i remember i don't know obviously her whole entire story i don't know exactly everything that she's been through but i remember when i was going through this like i i had tried to lose weight so many times and failed like i was never even slightly successful and so like i wasn't the person that lost 50 pounds and gained it back right i literally could maybe lose five or ten pounds and that that was it like that was that was it until this time that it worked out and so I remember when I lost 50 pounds, when it just kept coming and I was just realizing that like, I can, I can do this. And it was this weird feeling of like being excited, but also like, I don't want to say I was angry at my former self, but I was just so like, oh, if I would have just believed in myself, that's the best way for me to put it. Like if I would have just believed in myself, I could, I, I could have done this so much earlier. Right. But it, that did not take away from how unbelievably excited and happy and proud of myself that I felt because that was huge. It was huge. I don't know what exactly I would use to describe it. Um, I'm just, I don't know. I feel better overall. I feel more motivated. I feel more hopeful. Um, yep. Yep. But with that exactly. also comes the downsides that I've really been feeling today and this week in general. Like I said a couple videos ago, I never want you guys to sit here and think that I'm just so happy and so upbeat all the time because I'm just not. Like today, mm. I've had a very off day um, and I'm still happy. Like I'm not not happy. Um, it's just different. Um, I don't really know if a lot of people feel like this, but I I just feel like my whole life it's always been pushed on me to be skinny and so now that I'm like actively working on it and I like it's it's locked in my brain like I know I'm not gonna stop mm. it's scary like it's so intimidating that looks so bad it's so intimidating it's so scary because I know you know that people are gonna take me more seriously when I'm skinny I know and you know that people are gonna think I'm more pretty when I'm skinny and it's this weird war in my mind because part of me, the part that was winning for so many years because I was told myself that I could have confidence if all these other girls and all these other just people in general had confidence, I told myself and gaslit myself into thinking that I would be fine. And if somebody didn't love me how I am now, they're not going to love me when I'm skinny. And that is so true. Okay, Man, this is one thing that I... I can understand where she's coming from, but for me, it was just like, maybe it was because I'm, I'm a dude and the body positive movement hasn't really ever been as strong for men. Or I think a big part of it was just when I lost weight, you know, it was over 10 years ago. The movement just wasn't the size that it was now. TikTok didn't exist. You know, Instagram was barely even a thing. And so these conversations weren't happening. So I didn't have this conflicted feeling. Like for me, it was just like, I was just like, hell yes. It's finally happening. This thing that I've literally been waiting for my entire life that I felt like was impossible that I just didn't think that I could do. It was like, so for me, it was just like genuinely all positives. And so I'm not going to sit here and say like, I can totally understand. I felt the same way because I, I didn't. And so it's, it is very interesting hearing this from someone else's point of view. Okay, babe. And I'm not an expert. Um, obviously I just, 
it's so hard to think about because part of my brain is still like that. Like, if you don't like me now, you're not going to like me when I'm skinny. The only thing that is changing is my body. My mind's not going to change. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still going to be me. But more improved, healthier, better. And the other part of my... I, I like the, the way to say that. You know, I like the, the way that she said that. And I don't know, for me... I I've had people ask me like yo did people treat you so different and stuff and like I think people think I'm gonna have this like have this like negative feeling or like this vendetta against people from when I was bigger but I again it might be different because I'm a guy but like I didn't I don't feel like I, I had these people that were super mean to me and then all of a sudden switched up a ton like that's just genuinely that that was my experience like I had friends that loved me that th the, the way that they showed their love for me looking back now was by not constantly berating me to lose weight but also if i said i was interested in losing weight they were supportive because they wanted like they could tell that it was something i wanted and they were genuinely afraid because they loved me and they wanted me to stick around and so they would support me but they also understood that pushing it on me and trying to force it was only going to push me away so it was either they push me away and I also don't lose weight or they accept me and they be there to support me. And I was really lucky that I had that, right? And so for me, I just didn't have that, that, that those conflicting things where like people treated me so terrible and then all of a sudden I had, you know, all these women hanging all over me. Uh, it just didn't, just didn't happen. Like I just don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't have women hanging all over me, you know? My brain is screaming, well, you're not gonna have the same like dating pool of like men now as you would when you're skinny. And that's such a hard pill to swallow because you can't hate on people for having preference. You really can't. Because there are certain types of men that I don't wanna date. And so I can't blame them for not wanting to date a fat person. I, I can't. And neither can you, to be honest. I, I mean, that right there, because like I've said the same things and I feel like people always get mad at me and I'm like, I'm not trying to be mean, but like that's just the reality of the situation. That's just how I felt. Like I, I never got mad at, like I never had this, vi again, this vendetta that I talked about against the other women that like, didn't like me when I was bigger. Like it just, it just didn't happen because I understood. I, I wasn't attracted to really large women when I was, even when I was bigger. And so like, I didn't expect other people. Like it's, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, obviously if you're out here shitting on fat people, that's a totally different story. But when it comes to just being alive and like, you know, just being like, oh, like, you know, like th that's not really my type, but like, you know, like, respectful about it it's okay but it is such a hard pill to swallow knowing that if i were to find somebody now and this is going to sound so shallow and i just genuinely don't care if i were to find somebody now sure they would love me for who they are whatever but it scares me so bad that i could find somebody better than that person <laughs> even though that i don't know what they are <laughs> i love it it's savage i don't know what's there i don't know what's there to offer but I just know for me, I think personally, as dumb and as stupid and as arrogant and shallow as it sounds, I think that for me, I have to wait until I'm skinny to start dating. It's not even that, this is how I feel, it's not even that you have to wait until you're skinny, right? But there's nothing wrong with just understanding that right now in the season of your life that you're in, you need to focus on you. You need to focus on the things that you need to do. This is a huge life change that you're going through. So trying to also tend to the needs of another person probably isn't going to be good for you or them because you're probably not going to be able to do a great job at it anyways, right? And so there is nothing wrong with deciding I'm going to focus on myself and then look for someone because especially like when we, we look at the statistics of couples that are in a relationship and someone starts a drastic weight loss, whether they get surgery or whatever, the, the chances of that relationship not working are very high, right? Because to be in a relationship with someone that is morbidly obese and like for that to be the norm, regardless if the partner isn't morbidly obese themselves, they are okay with the lifestyle that that person is living. And so they, they live a similar lifestyle. They're just not 
you know, the, they are not having the side effects of, of, of obesity that the other person is. And so it's really, really hard to find that. So I, w- I will say that it, it's probably a little bit healthier, like even if, if you are working on yourself and that person also is, then it might work out a little bit better because you're both kind of on that journey together. But I think there is absolutely nothing wrong and not at all shallow feeling like, you know what, I need to focus on myself. I need to work on myself because this is going to take a while and there's, there's nothing wrong with that. I've never been in a serious relationship relationship um I've had a couple of like things or whatever um but I've never been in a serious relationship and that really hinders on my spirit and that is mostly I'm not gonna lie to you that is the second thing that's driving my weight loss um and I'm being really vulnerable with you guys right now I don't think there's anything wrong with that man I just don't I think that if that's if that's a big reason for you I think that's a completely valid reason that's a completely okay reason to to want to lose weight um, I just, I love love and I am a very romantic person and it hurts my heart sometimes to sit back and just think about how I've never had the opportunity because I am fat. Okay. Obviously there's other things that go into that. Maybe I'm not mo- emotionally available, blah, 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 whatever. But the main reason is because I'm fat. And as much as you guys might try to convince me otherwise in the comments, like my friends do, that is mainly the reason. Um, and it's just, it sucks, you know, because I could sit here and rant all day about how, like, it shouldn't matter, but it does. And I'm not shitting on fat people. If you want to be plus size, a lot of people also hate that I say fat, but like, whatever. If you want to be fat, if you want to be plus size, rock that shit, babe. If that is what you want to do, do it. But I've literally been fat since I can remember. I literally remember walking into my third grade classroom and being like, oh my God, I hope these people don't notice that I'm fat. Yep. You know what I'm Same. saying? So like, yep. there's so much trauma and there's so much insecure... In- insecurity that comes with it mm-hmm. i can't do it anymore and that's just point blank period i cannot do it anymore and i won't do it anymore um and i think that there's nothing wrong with feeling like you deserve more and and wanting to go for that like i don't i don't see any issue with that right like feeling like you know what this has been something especially if you're so like she was talking about that you've been overweight your whole life. This is all you've known. You've always felt like maybe like a second class is and you've always felt like there was always this thing looming over you, right? Your weight was always this, like the way that I've explained it in the past was I felt like I was living in an obese version of myself. Like people saw this suit that was around me and it was like they had to work really hard to get to who I really was, or I had to work really hard to show who I really was because I was being muffled and I was being contained in this like suit, right? That I had to try and break free out of or like show myself through the cracks. And a lot of times people just weren't interested, right? And I'm very thankful that I did have some friends that were okay with like getting through the cracks and um, like really finding out who I was. And those people literally like have saved my life probably, right? But I also don't hold any grudges against the other people that maybe didn't do that, right? Because I just, it. this is the reality of the situation. I finally worked on myself so much and got medicated that like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's so, it's just so weird because literally my life is so great. Everything's falling into place. And that was the only issue that was left. And my birthday in April is what set this chain of events going. Uh, But like in the grand scheme of things, like I just want to be happy. Mm -hmm. I'm happy now, but I want to be more happy. Um, And I want to be healthy and I want to be active. Um, I don't know. I'm just very excited. I'm very hopeful for the future. I'm sorry that that got so dark. If you made it this far, this is literally eight minutes in. So I love you. Um, Sorry, I got a little crazy there for a second. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited. I'm very excited to keep doing Hot Girl Walk updates with you guys. Um, I am going to Disney next week, so that's going to put a little bit of a hint, a halt <laughs> um, into Hindrance, my vlogs and stuff. But I'm super excited, and I love you guys. And again, thank you for just being you. And thank you for watching my videos and supporting me and cheering me on in my little delusional world. (laughs) But I love you guys and I hope you have a great day.
I just really liked that video. I feel like it was a very, a very open and honest, just kind of insight to her, her mindset and how she's feeling. And I did want to share this with you. Uh, so this was a TikTok that was shared like really recently. Um, and in the, in the TikTok, she kind of shares her, her weights and stuff that she's, she's been at. And, uh, she is under, under 450 pounds and yeah, she just looks great. She's still on her journey. And so I just, I wanted to share this because I thought that it was a very, like I said, open and honest kind of like account of those feelings. And it's not something that I feel like you see a lot of. And yeah, I thought it was really, really interesting. Congratulations. I hope that you keep going. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, let me know. Uh, I really appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comment section down below and I'll see you next time. Peace.